Well, of course, we all know that we want our children to be safe. The most important thing to know is that you have to provide a safe environment for your child. So while you want to encourage perhaps your two-year-old to be climbing and exploring, you really don't want them to be in high surfaces where they're going to fall and hurt themselves. So you want to make sure that perhaps the couch isn't right next to the windowsill so that they're climbing onto the couch and then onto the windowsill and then they're at this high surface where they're going to fall and hurt themselves. So you want to make sure that the space that they're playing in is a safe environment for them. You also want to make sure that they're being supervised at a young age. Another way to actually get them to stop climbing on things is by telling them no. Sometimes it's okay to say no, especially when it's safety. Safety is your top priority as a parent, as a caregiver, and it's important for a child to learn at an early age that there are things that they cannot do because it is dangerous. And that's something that you should always tell your child from a very early age, even if you don't think that they understand. If you keep saying it, that's when they will learn. It's always using the same words, the same language, no climbing, we don't climb up there, we don't touch this, we don't do this, and offering an alternative. So if you're saying, don't climb on the furniture, we climb in the playground, then perhaps you need to take your child to the playground so that they can get that movement that they are clearly seeking. If you find that this is a behavior that's continuous and you're not sure what to do, speak with your child's pediatrician. Tell them the behaviors you've observed, explain to them when you're seeing this behavior, what's going on and how your child is responding to the language that you're using, and discuss what you should do next if you should do anything at all.